REST is a framework for creating web APIs built on HTTP and HTTPS. RESTConf is a REST-like API or protocol for managing and configuring network devices like routers and switches using HTTP. It uses Yang data modeling and NetConf defined data stores. So how do you execute a REST API request? Well, there's different ways you can do it. You could use your web browser using an HTTP request right from the address bar. You could use a command line tool like curl and do a curl command. You could use an application or program like Postman, or you could use a programming language like Python, JavaScript, Ruby, and many others. RESTful APIs use HTTP client server request and response methods. The typical methods for HTTP and REST are POST, when you're going to create content onto the web server, GET, when you want to make a request for information from the API or from the web server, PUT, when you're sending data to the server, PATCH, when you're updating information or making a small change, or DELETE, when you're deleting a resource. The POST, GET, PUT, PATCH, and DELETE methods all follow what's called CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete. Now REST APIs use universal resource identifiers. It's similar to a URL, but identifies a specific resource. Let's take a look. And here you have the API server over here. It has the HTTP protocol named, and then the server location with the domain name. You have the resource that you're going to access. This would be the API information specific to that server. Then you have the query itself. This is your API query. And in this case, it has it specifying the format, which is JSON, that there's going to be a key. Now, this would say key equals, and then you'd have the public or guest key or the key that you requested from the server itself and the parameters which filter your query. In this case, we're going to MapQuest and we're interested in getting information from San Jose, California to Monterey, California, and we're trying to get directions from here to there. And that needs to be in the parameters for this API query. Let's take a look at an API query in action. Let's practice doing REST API calls using different tools. First off, using the web browser, I can do an HTTP GET API call by just pasting the URI into the address bar and hitting return. And with this API, all I need to do is provide the IP address and that I want JSON data returned. And then it gives me the location based on the IP address. The region is Texas, country US, and then the organization is Cisco Systems Incorporated. Now I can execute the same API call from the command line. I'll go to the command line and I'll use the curl tool, provide the same URI to call the API, and you can see that it returns the information. Now API calls, REST API calls can also be done programmatically using JavaScript. In this case, I have a tool where I can put my code into one window and it'll return out of the other. This is some JavaScript where I'm going to do a request and I'm going to do my GET request. There is the API URI. I just hit run and it returns the information that I've asked for in the JavaScript. I can do the same thing using Python. Here is that same API call but this time formatted in Python, where I execute the Python code in this web browser window, and then it's returned here. So I'll hit run, and you can see it's returned. 